Are you tired of downloading shady ISO maker programs that have a catch, such as a file size limit, the audio playing back too fast or slow, or just not working? Do you want to just use programs that you probably already have installed so you can play your songs in VidBurban? But with this little handy script I made and a Java application, it's now possible to make custom virtual CDs that are compatible with VidBurban and Audacity. First, the prerequisites. You will need Audacity with a version of 2.4.2 or newer. All the versions might work but have not been tested. Forks of Audacity working with the script all depend on how they change the script functionally. Sadly, Tenacity and Audacrium don't work because of this. You will also need Java installed on your computer, which I'm sure the standard download on their website will work fine. Lastly, the Java application labeled to queue is needed to create the necessary queue files to play the file in VidRipen. Everything needed is in the link in the description, and the script also comes bundled with a readme file if you wish to use that as your tutorial instead. Here's how you install the plugin. After downloading qfileprep.zip, extract the .ny file to anywhere you would like. Open Audacity and head over to Tools, Nyquist Plugin Installer. Select where you place the qfileprep.ny file. The allow overwriting setting doesn't really matter unless you want to modify the script yourself, in which you should keep it on. Click OK, then head over to Tools, Add or Remove Plugins. Find the plugin name QFile Prep, enable it, and click OK. Finally, restart Audacity. If you head over to the Tools tab, you should now see a new menu item named QFile Prep, which means the plugin has been successfully installed. <laughs> Now here's how you make your custom CDs. Import all the audio tracks you wish to include by pressing Ctrl, Shift, I, or go to File, Import Audio. After importing all of your tracks, go to Tools and click on Q File Prep. You'll have a message box pop up asking you to enter in some values. First, enter the number of tracks that are in your project. You can also adjust how long the gap is between every song, which is to prevent tracks from bleeding into each other. The default is 2 seconds and it seems to work just fine. Once ready, click open and let the script do its thing. If you wish to double check, scroll all the way down to the bottom and make sure all the tracks have a label at the start of them. Now it's time to export. Go to File, Export, and Export as WAVE. Make sure the Save As type is set to WAVE and that its encoding is set to Signed 16-bit PCM. Name the file whatever you want, but make sure its file extension is set to .bin instead of .wave. Once finished, you are now done with the bin file. But now we gotta make the Q file. Go to File, Export, and Export Labels. Save it as a text file, though the file name doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's in the same location as the bin file. Minimize Audacity and open Label to Q. Click Select File and select the text file you exported. When you click Convert, it will ask you to type in the file name plus extension of the audio file to associate with the Q file. Type in the file name plus its .bin extension, click OK, and a new file will appear in the folder or desktop, which will be named the same thing as your audio file but with a Q extension. Congratulations, you are now finished. When the game asks you to swap the disk, make sure that both the bin and Q file are in the same location and to load the Q file instead of the bin file in your emulator. If you want to burn it to a real CD, I honestly don't know how to do that, but any tutorial on the internet that shows you how to burn a bin plus Q file on the internet should do the trick. If you have any issues, please read the description for an FAQ before attempting to comment the issue you have. Have fun! <laughs>